case you've missed last episode, let me fill you in on where we're at with our Halo Infinite Warthog build. Our dude Alex has been spending a lot of time on the exterior bits, all the way from the tail section to the front hood. He's been taking each panel and building it by hand, making sure we give this Warthog its easily recognizable look. While Alex was finishing up the exterior bits, Soupy was knee deep in the driver's compartment, finishing up the center console, the driver's seats, the steering columns, the pedal box, but also building a custom dash from scratch. This is one step closer from making our Warthog dyno worthy. Let's get to work. Fudge cookies, you never had the fudge cookies? I'll, I'll have to try them. You never had the fudge cookies? I don't think so. Let me show you the crack. Oh my, these right here. I don't know, I haven't tried those. These little people could make some cookies, boy. A sweet smell. As you can see, we have stripes of chocolate. Could you just eat the goddamn uh, thing? What crack, a... crack. I mean, they're okay. You're stupid. <laughs> we just came back from the Peterson again. There's a couple things that we kind of were foggy about, like, you know, what's over here and, and what the dash and in relation to the person looks like. It was super helpful. We were there for a couple hours, got a bunch of measurements. We took a couple of cell phone pics and then we kind of wandered around for a little bit. It was my supervision, Alex, who's doing a great job. Service panel is already made. Got the uh, step welded in, got the rear end lined up. The chassis was a little, little off. Got it all squared away. I'm gonna be working on the windshield frame today and the mounting system, because I'd like the windshield to hinge up. Soupy's against it, but I'd like it to hinge up so you can actually work on the vehicle. Waste of time. You f***ed up again. How? You could have extended this and used the same fasteners for both of these panels. Velcro. I thought about that after I did this shit. I'll tell you though, <laughs> it looks great. The bends are clean. It's nice and flat. Yeah, what are you gonna do up there? I don't know. Well, stop asking me stupid questions. <laughs> We got the material in for the engine cover. I'm gonna go ahead and weld it up using our killer Miller Synchro Wave 210. I've loved using it with its wireless pedal and the AC adjustment lets me get the perfect weld in any situation. Oh my God, they didn't even plan that. Yeah, you get, like most things you don't. Didn't know. even plan that. Perfectly level. I, I just wanted to tell everybody that even if you have a, a broken clock in your house, it's right once a day. Get over it. Now that our last little bit of materials have finally arrived, Alex gets to a good spot where he can really start putting the final details on the hood. Meanwhile, Soupy's in the interior putting his last final touches before we get ready to head to the dyno. If you think watching Soupy build a race car is fun, you should really take a look at him wrapping. Ooh, yes. Carbon fiber. I never really wrapped anything. And I don't know how thick that thing is. Because there's actual like grooves in here. I don't know if you're gonna see it through the wrap. So I'm gonna try it. See what I can get away with.
So I got the windshield slash hood mechanism all done, got it installed on the vehicle, had to build this bracket system to hold the hood on. Also got it with some hydraulic springs as are called for McMaster car. I had to ditch the original complicated hood hinge idea, which was this, because I just couldn't get the clearance out of it and the tolerances. It was uh, binding up, kind of like that. So I had to ditch that and go with this. Very simple, one bolt, that's it. Just one, one hinge point. You know, just like your normal hood, put it down. Have to make some kind of latch mechanism to hold it in place, but we'll figure that out when we get the windshield on it. And then uh, it will go up by itself, and there you go. Oh man, this thing just fell out. So tomorrow is dino day. Took the body off. It's less conspicuous, I guess, right? It's hard to tell that that's a warthog with the body off. So we took it off. We're going to dino tomorrow. And so we have to do all the little things that are left, which Alexander Grimm is finishing up the brake lines for the rear because we just did the front. We have to make the brake lines, bleed them. And then I'm doing the shifter because the cable that it came with is it's a little short. We ordered a new cable, not exactly the same, so we gotta modify it to fit. It's gonna be a long, tedious day. It's gonna suck. preferred method of mounting a PDM. I like that. Right? This is my preferred method of yeah, you PDM put mounting. That right there. <laughs> PDMs are in. We don't need the rear one. The rear one is the accessories, which is that, the 15 output. We have the 30 output that runs the rest of the truck and the ECU's plugged in. Should fire up. It's just I remember. And this won't start it. We know the Warthog runs with our brand new PDM installed. Now it leads on to probably one of the most stressful times for any builder. If you ever put so much energy into building a car that you love and care about so much, and then you watch it turn over the rollers for the first time on the dyno, it can be either really exciting or really heartbreaking. So Soupy and Alex are gonna spend just one more day going through oiling system, the fuel system, making sure that the pinion angle is correct, going through the brakes, making sure everything is working properly, just so our Warthog doesn't blow itself up on the dyno. Good news is the only thing that's leaking is water. Well, because we fixed that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's good. Progress is progress. about to dyno the warthog. We're hooked up to their hub dyno and we already made a mess. Alex didn't tighten a bunch of water lines, but they fixed it. So we're all good. We're not using the rollers today. Check it out. We're using their new hub dyno. The transmission computer, making sure it all shifts, and then we're gonna start making some pulls. Horsepower, horsepower predictions. predictions. <laughs> we're doing horsepower <laughs> predictions. What do we got? At least a thousand. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. Dude, I said a thousand yesterday. What do you got? What do you got? I'm saying 910.
was uh, a measly seven what? Seven seventy one. Seven seventy one at five thousand RPM. That was the worst ever. Where? We need to update the, the people. Oh, uh, you need a professional to tell them what's going on. <laughs> all right, so we got our good boy Shane here, and the guys at Redline. They uh, got us all hooked up with the nice tune on the, the hog here. We're not selling Redline. This guy wants to sell everything. Oh. <laughs> all right, so we're back here. We made 1,046 horsepower with like a moderate amount of boost. We're gonna keep it at that. What well, Our number was 1,060 foot-pound of torque, so this is gonna be a really good driving truck. It's gonna be pretty scary. So. Right now, we're happy with it. It's a clean tune, and I think that's where we're gonna start. Now we're gonna go shake down the car, and afterwards, we have like a bunch of things, like look, the computers for the, uh, for the transmission needs to be mounted, so we have things that work out like small steering. details. Yeah. Small details. Yeah. We're gonna put it all back together, and if we wanna put up a number, if you guys wanna see a higher number, we'll put up a higher number. We can make that happen easy. 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 When this project was planned just over a year ago, one of our biggest goals that we were trying to achieve was crushing the 1,000 horsepower mark out of our Halo Infinite Warthog. And we did that with simply just 46 horsepower. That's not including the issues that we were stumbling into on the dyno, which was heat soak and the intercoolers, which is actually robbing a lot more horsepower than we expected. So what's next on the agenda? Soupy and the gang is gonna take the Halo Infinite Warhawk back to the shop and address the small little hiccups that we experience on the dyno, get it ready for its first shakedown session. Wait, where are we going? Is there a flat knife on the Yeah, I just gotta, oh, get, just gotta get that around. Just that's it, that's the material, it. And then you pull it tight. Pull it around it tight. I got it. Uh, this, this is not bad for the first one. If you bad. need something wrapped, Mike Diaz and I are starting a wrap company. It's called... That's a wrap!